Ted Bundy was one of the most notorious serial killers in history. He murdered more than 30 women between the years of 1974 and 1978, according to biography. In 1989, the 42-year-old Lady Killer was sentenced to capital punishment, a.k.a. the death penalty, in Florida after confessing to his murders. And it wasn't even the first time. Bundy had been sentenced to death three times before he was finally executed. When the time came, Bundy died by electrocution after less than two minutes in the electric chair. Tim Swearens, a reporter who witnessed the execution, reported to the Daily Beast. The famed electric chair would be the last thing Bundy touched during his life, but it wouldn't be the last the world would hear from him. Ted Bundy was caught in Florida in February of 1978 after a Pensacola police officer thought his car looked suspicious. The officer discovered stolen plates along with a stolen license and arrested the serial killer. Ted Bundy died by electric chair on January 24, 1989. Ted Bundy jerked back, appearing startled, when he first saw the electric chair inside the execution chamber at the Florida State Prison, Swearens wrote in the Daily Beast 30 years later. I watched, along with 41 other witnesses, as one of America's most notorious serial killers was strapped into the wooden chair, known by the macabre nickname of Old Sparky. In a book by crime writer Anne Rule, the Stranger Beside Me. The true crime story of Ted Bundy, Dr. Clark Hoshall, who was also present during Bundy's death, recalled, Bundy was uneasy and failed to keep eye contact before his death. A leather strap extended from below the right side of the lower jaw diagonally across his face and was secured tightly above the left ear. The head strap compressed the nose laterally and squeezed Bundy's left eyelids together. His right eye was open and looking straight forward. In Swarren's description, a metal cap was also placed on Bundy's head, and his face was covered with a black leather veil. No one then could see Bundy's face when the prison superintendent, Tom Barton, spoke briefly on the phone with Governor Bob Martinez. After the phone call, Swearens recalled, Barton then nodded to a black-hooded executioner standing behind a partition. The night before his death, Bundy called his mother twice but refused to pick a final meal. In fact, he barely touched the standard steak, eggs, hash browns, and toast that he was served, per all that's interesting. So, Bundy died with an empty stomach. According to Swearens, as the electric chair was being prepared for Bundy, he peered through a plexiglass window at the witnesses who faced him and said, It's all right. Then, at 7.05 a.m., Bundy was asked if he had any last words. Looking at his attorney, Jim Coleman, and a Methodist pastor, Fred Lawrence, he said, Jim and Fred, I'd like you to give my love to my family and friends. After Ted Bundy's execution, his brain was removed from his body to study. Scientists hoped they'd find an abnormality to explain his violent behaviors, but nothing was detected, per all that's interesting. The rest of his body was cremated, and his ashes were scattered throughout the Cascade Mountains in Washington, as Bundy requested. This is the same location where he discarded at least four of his victims, the same source reported.